guys, Guys Games here, and welcome to Pottermore. Now, I can't record Turmoil or Papers, Please today because, well, I'm at the wrong computer. So, we're gonna be doing Pottermore. Now, I'm a huge Harry Potter fan myself, so I've always wanted to do this. I mean, I had an old account, but I kind of forgot every single detail of that. So, we're gonna get sorted. It's gonna be fun. And then we're gonna do a few things. Oh, wait, yeah, right, I have to join first. Give me a second. Alright, so, we- I have- <laughs> I have finally joined, so... I have a lot of- I have a lot to do. I've already gotten all the books, my- They're in the other room. Wait, hold on, let me shut my door real quick here. <laughs> Alright. Shut the door, turn on the light, here we go. Oh shoot, I just forgot I didn't plug in my microphone. Oh well, hope you guys can hear me. Alright, oh. I gotta verify email first. Give me a second. There we go, we're all verified. We're good. So, I'm guessing we should start by joining my Hogwarts house. So, be sorted and discover your house. Here we go. I heard there's like a quiz. So, answer truthfully after all the hat's decision is final. Forest or river? Oh god, the mouse is moving so slow. Forest, river, forest, forest. <laughs> Definitely gotta go with forest here. Alright, four goblets are placed before you. Which would you choose to drink? The foaming, frothy, silvery liquid that sparkles as though containing ground diamonds. The mysterious black liquid that gleams like ink and gives off fumes that make you see strange visions. Golden liquid so bright that it hurts the eye, and make which makes sunspots dance all around the room. Speaking of which, happy eclipse day. <laughs> who, who here is seeing a full eclipse? Not me. The smooth, rich, thick, richly purple drink that gives off a delicious smell of chocolate and plums. Okay, the chocolate won me over that one. A troll has gone berserk in the headmaster's study in Hogwarts. It is about to smash, crush, and tear several irreplaceable items and treasures. In which order would you rescue these objects from the troll's club if you could? First, a, perfectly, a, a nearly perfected cure for dragon pox. Then, student records going back about a thousand years. Finally, a mysterious handwritten book full of strange runes. First, a mystery. Oh! Oh, it's the same item, just which order? Hmm. Hold on, I'll be right back. I think the eclipse is actually starting where I am. Hold on. Alright, so it is getting a bit dark and weird outside, but not quite yet, so. Ooh. I'd probably have to go with this one. Because, like, a nearly perfected cure, someone could actually perfect that and, you know cure dragon pox, so that'd be cool. Then the student record might be. If you were attending Hogwarts, which pet would you choose to take with you? Tabby cat? Three toed tree toad. Try and say that five times fast. Harlequin toad? Dragon toad? Natterjack toad? Common toad? Barn owl? Snowy owl? I'm probably gonna have to go with an owl. So, so. Brown owl? Screech owl? That'd get annoying real fast. Tawny owl? White cat? Black cat, ginger cat, Siamese cat, tabby cat. I'm probably gonna have to go with a barn owl. Barn owls are cool. Like, and plus they're actually kind of adorable. Have you seen their faces? Like, but yeah, that would just be cool. And plus I could get mail, so that'd be pretty helpful. You and two friends need to cross a bridge guarded by a river troll who insists on fighting one of you before he will let all of you pass. Do you attempt to confuse the troll into letting all three of you pass without fighting? Volunteer to fight. Suggest that all three of you should fight without telling the troll. You just run lots to decide which of you will fight. Okay. Ooh, I would actually attempt to confuse the troll because what if you actually had managed to do it? Like, there would probably be a loophole somewhere in there. Like, what if you didn't go on the bridge? Like, like. I don't know. I would just attempt to confuse 
Which of the following would you most like to study? Centaurs, trolls, werewolves, vampires, ghosts, mer people, or goblins? Mer people are cool, but werewolves. Gotta like werewolves. Werewolves, yeah. How would you be like to know? How would you like to be known to history? The wise, the good, the great, or the bold? The wise. My intelligence is probably my most like prominent feature. Black or white? White. <laughs> Congratulations on being sorted into Ravenclaw. All right then, that was pretty anticlimactic, but I have been sorted into Ravenclaw. So, there's no sound, apparently. All right then. More about my house, let's learn a little bit more since we have, um, infinite time now. Welcome to House Ravenclaw. You probably know some of Ravenclaw's most renowned members, including Gilderoy Lockhart and Luna Lovegood. Did you know Ravenclaw's Grey Lady is the least talkative Hogwarts house ghost? Or that Ravenclaw's common room boasts the most stunning views of the castle grounds? You can also share your Ravenclaw part with your friend with downloadable wallpaper and house albums. The famous Ravenclaw characters Luna Lovegood, Cho Chang, Gilderoy Lockhart. I don't know how we got sorted into Ravenclaw, he's not smart at all. Phileas Flitwick, Sybil Trelawney, Quirinius Quir Quirrell, and Garrick Ollivander. Alright, cool! Alright then, so. Intelligent, wise, sharp, witty, individual. Yeah, that sounds about right. Tell your friends you're a wise Ravenclaw. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Whatever. Um. Uh. Home. Sweet. Alright. Discover your Patronus. Woo! I'd never, I never actually figured what my Patronus would be. Better with headphones. Oh, jeez. Oh, no. I'll turn up the volume because I want you guys to hear this. Hold on. Oh jeez, hold on. Discover your Patronus. So I'm back. So I actually did get to see the partial eclipse. I'm so happy. So anyway, we're going to be discovering my Patronus. You can only discover your Patronus once. The questions are timed. Go with your instincts. I'm not good with timed questions. Here we go. Dream, discover, dance. Dream. I like dreaming. Dream is cool. Blood, bone. Blood. Lead, save, escape. Save, 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 save. Something is trying to emerge from your wand. Keep going. Got it. Free, safe. Free. You're so close. Keep going. Comfort. Your Patronus is a West Highland Terrier. I feel like there should have been noise here. Guess not. Oh, look at him! He's so cute! Oh! Oh, okay, bye. Oh, there he is again. Alright, let's return to my profile. I'll put music and dramatic effects in here somewhere. Alright, so I got my Hogwarts house, my Patronus. Hmm. Let's discover my wand. Take your time and answer. Honestly, your answers are final, just like. To ensure that we find the perfect wand for you, it's very important that you answer all the following questions honestly. First of all, we do describe yourself as average height. Tall. <laughs> Tall, I don't even need to look at the other- at short. And your eyes, dark brown, black. Other, gray, green, blue green, blue gray, blue, hazel, brown, er, I think I'm green. Or like blue green. Here, let me take a look real quick. I'm definitely like blue green. Was the day on which you were born an even number? Yeah, it was an even number. Oop. The 18th. You pride yourself most on your... Originality, intelligence, imagination, resilience, determination, <laughs> optimism, kindness, originality. 
Yeah, I said it before when I was doing the house test of intelligence. Traveling alone down a deserted road, you reach a crossroads. Do you continue left towards the sea, right towards the castle, ahead towards the forest? I don't have to go left towards the sea. The sea. Do you most fear fire, heights, small spaces, isolation, or darkness? Mmm. Small spaces. In a chest of magical artifacts, would you, which would you choose? Ornate mirror, a dusty bottle, a golden key, a silver dagger, a bound scroll, a glittering jewel, or a black glove? Hmm. A dagger. Probably. Laurel wood with dragon heartstring core 13 inches and unyielding flexibility. The wand has chosen you. Spread the word. Got it. That was actually fun. I like this. So, got my wand. You know, let's find out my eel for Morty House. Here we go. Woo! -hoo! Where will the enchanted carvings place you? Begin the experience. Do you prefer to remember or experience? That's actually a good question. Remember? Experience. Experience. Like living in the moment. Yeah. What would you exchange for your heart's desire? Anything. That's the typical answer. That which I can afford to lose. Blood, sweat, and tears. What it is worth. <laughs> for my heart's desire this one because they like working for something and then feeling proud of myself afterwards it's blood sweat and tears think of a qu of the question you would most like answered by a person or an all-knowing know being or device which of the following most closely remembers resembles the answer you'd like to hear without a shadow of a doubt Never. Very soon. It is impossible. Yes. <laughs> I will show you everything. Only if you agree. If you come with me. No, I didn't. You are. Yes, you may. Only once. If you want to. Forever. Or not for many years. Well, first off, what was the question I would like to be answered be? Hmm. I think I have it in my head. It's a more personal question, so I'd rather not share it. But... Like, I don't know. Probably this one. All I need is an opportunity, a little more time, some help, or already inside me. Yeah, that one. I'm strongest when I know I'm right. I'm strongest with my comrades. I'm strongest when enthusiastic. I'm, I'm strongest when I'm awake. Or I'm strongest when I'm alone. This one. I work better alone, like even in school. Like, I hate working with groups. Except, like, with a few people. Like, there's a few people I can tolerate working in a group with, but that's about it. Like, I'm, I'm best by myself. My greatest weakness is nobody's business but mine. What makes me me? The source of my greatest strength. Something I must change. No, not that one. What makes me... I know that's the stereotypical answer, like, My weaknesses are what make me special, and I can use them to my advantage. But, yeah, I have to go with that one. Well, which would you choose if you could only have one? The power to change one day in your future. Oh, the power to change one day in your past. Yes. Whoa, that picture's so cool. Whoa! 
The power to make one person impervious to harm. The power to bring one person back from the dead. Or the power the power to cure one illness worldwide. Oh, that'd be cool. The power to eradicate one quality from all humans. Oh, he's also good! Ugh! The power to know the answer to any single question. Ugh! I want to go with this one, but... If I eradicated one bad quality, then another would probably just pop up, and then I would be powerless. So, that's... Ugh. It's the power to cure one illness. Oh, I like that one so much. I have to go with that one. No curse can work without the victim's secret consent. True. False. No. That's not how curses work, you just do them. Congratulations, you've been sorted into Thunderbird. Alright then. Turn to my profile. So, I'm a Ravenclaw at Hogwarts. I'm a I'm in Thunderbird at Ilharmony. I don't even know if I'm saying that right. I have a Westland High Ta West Highland Terrier Patronus, and that's my wand. I'm not gonna say that at all again. Use my Overmorny theme. Oh, like I have my Hogwarts theme right now. Wait, can you not do? I swear there was like a thing where you could like make potions and whatnot on here. I Hogwarts house. What's um? I never really got that deep into Overmorny, so. Alright, named by Chadwick Boot after his favorite magical beast, the Thunderbird, a beast that can create storms as it flies. Yeah, I remember that from Fantastic Beasts and Where to Find Them. Thunderbird House is sometimes considered to represent the soul of a witcher wizard. It also says that the Thunderbird favors adventurers, so basically it's the Gryffindor of Overmorny. Tell your friends you've joined Thunderbird, download Thunderbird wallpaper. Alright then. So that's cool. Woo! We did it! Wait, what are my details? Oh, this is probably just like my... Yep. Nope, you guys aren't seeing my name today. Well, my full name at least. Um, uh, my books? Oh. These are just like... So that's it? The Wizarding World... Oh, explore the story. What's that? I haven't been on Hogwarts in so long. On Pottermore in so long, so. Discover more about your favorite characters, spells, and creatures from across the wizarding world today. Read more about dragons. Woo! Um. Discover a collection of characters, creatures, spells, and more. Magical objects. Oh, God, Bellatrix, no. Yeah, but I think that's about it. <laughs> Alright then. Cool. So that's it for Pottermore, guys. I hope you guys enjoyed that this quick video on Eclipse Day. Quite the magical experience, if I do say so myself. Ho ho ho. I'm so funny. No, I'm not. Anyway, thank you guys for watching. I'll see you in the next video. On Wednesday. Bye.